Welcome back to the coolest channel on YouTube, man. Hopefully y'all been having a good day. Just know we're going through this thing called life together. You know what I'm saying? You never in it by yourself. But look, man, got these. We got we got a crazy lineup for y'all today, man. Uh, just positive vibes only. Let's get this video right here to 10,000 likes. I know y'all can do that, you know what I'm saying, for the one time. Let's get into this video without further ado, people. And if you want your chance to win these gold backs right here, these are 24 karat gold monies. Just make sure y'all got y'all notifications on when I do this giveaway. If you early bird get the worm, you know what I'm saying, make sure you got those notifications on and you got your chance to win this. Also, I'll be doing cash app prizes too as well, you know. So I got I got something for a little bit of, for, for everybody. I got, some, I got some stuff for y'all, you know what I'm saying. I'll be giving y'all the, the cash apps to be right there on the spot. You feel me? So right, right, live. So, and these will be mailed out to y'all. Difference, but uh, yeah, let's get into this video, people. On December 2022, a lot of people witnessed a very strange event just above the Sapphire Club in Las Vegas. There's a UFO directly above the club. At the time, the event was so strange that it gathered hundreds of people on the streets, looking at it and recording it. In the video, we can see several dots of light behind the clouds, and it seems like they're completely still, not moving at all. Just by looking at it, people could see that this is not your everyday lights in the sky, this is probably something else. Right. What makes it even stranger is the fact that when the Sapphire Club's strobe lights point directly at this thing, whatever it is, it's as if it reflects the strobe lights. Right. In other words, it's as if there's some sort of invisible object behind the clouds and it somehow forgot to turn off the headlights. But it didn't stop there. Something similar happened recently in Florida. What the? No. Wait. What the is that? Now what makes this all very interesting is that apparently a couple of weeks ago a new trend started in social media where people are buying military green lasers and pointing it randomly at the sky, more precisely at random stars. And what happens in the video is leaving the entire internet completely baffled. Oh. Hey. Oh. Tipo, es que debe ser un metal grande o un espejo, no sé por qué. No, porque sería filete en negro. Porque para que rebote de esa forma, claro, ¿cachai? Eso no es una linterna. Ya, ya cachamos que no es una linterna. For some strange reason, in the video we can clearly see what appears to be a star somehow responding to the green laser by reflecting back. This is absolutely mind-blowing. The video was recorded a couple of weeks ago by Daniel Segovia in Santiago del Chile. Strange, isn't it? But to make it even stranger, another video was posted where a person does the same thing and it happens again. In the video, a person is randomly pointing a green laser at a star in the sky. This is until the star disappears and starts blinking back as if it's communicating somehow. This is when whatever this thing is shines the green laser back at the person. Whatever's going on here, it left the entire internet completely creeped out. Some internet users suggest that this is fake, that maybe there's a person on top of a mountain somewhere shining a green laser and a flashlight back. I ain't gonna cat with y'all, Brad. Look, y'all know that it, it, it makes my bones hurt every time I hear some dumb shit. Like, I just can't help myself. I'm sorry, y'all. We're gonna keep going, though. But it wasn't no mountains back there. Let's stop this shit. Other internet users believe that this is the real deal. Maybe there are UFOs watching us, or maybe something far more sinister. Doing a quick research on the topic, I found out that actually this became a trend in 2012, and it might have started with Stephen Greer in 2005. And there are several ufologists that have been using this technique to actually catch the attention of these unidentified flying objects. 
And apparently there are dozens of videos of people trying this out with a certain level of success, which makes us wonder what is really going on in our sky. Questions like, are these objects really UFOs? A UFO. No way. I can't see it on my phone camera. And are they pretending to be stars? And why do they react to the green laser specifically? These are some of the questions that are leaving absolutely everyone baffled. <laughs> now, if all of this wasn't strange enough, it gets stranger. A couple of weeks ago, a Reddit user by the name of Martian Ash X12 posted a very intriguing video of a friend of his using a PVS 14 Gen 3 night vision camera. And in the video, you can see several unidentified objects crossing the sky. So it may actually prove the existence of such objects. And not only that, these objects might actually be the same ones that are reacting to these green lasers. But who knows? I want to know your thoughts. What do you really think is going on here? I've seen this before. Yeah. Are these actually UFOs or are they just drones or maybe something else far more sinister? I just want to give y'all something to think about, though. Y'all know how the government been saying that, oh, it's been, uh, it's a mothership. That, oh, they said it on the news, if you haven't seen it in the videos, but they said it. They said it's a mothership, right? They've been speaking about the mothership, Nibiru, all these things. Remember they said that the ship releases other little tiny ships? It, I've been seeing them all the time out here, you know? I've been seeing them for years out here. But it is what it is. They ain't done nothing harmful. So, I mean, I'm not afraid, but... How y'all feel about these weird things that y'all seen in the sky? I, I think, man, when you start to see them, stop freaking out, man. I think if they're higher beings, they can sense when you're frightened, when you're afraid. So therefore, that'll make them more, less likely to show themselves to you. I want to see what the hell going on. Y'all got to stop being some punks out here, man. This is fascinating that, you know, just because, and then you want, people want to make up weird excuses and stuff, bro. Stop being cowards, man. Look, it's okay. It's okay, bro. Like, with all the science and stuff that we've, all the bullshit we learned in school, one thing that we can't pick up from it, man, look, we're not the only ones in the universe. That'd be ignorant from to think the earliest that. days of Alexander Graham Bell's invention to the latest iPhone release, mobile phones have become an essential part of our daily lives. With their advanced features and conveniences, it's hard to imagine living without them nowadays. But what if these devices are doing more than just making our lives easier? What if they're actually spying on us? Nowadays, most people are already aware that when you're talking to someone and you have your phone nearby, if you're talking about a product or a trip that you made, most likely the next day your phone is going to start showing advertisements for those kind of things that you talked about. Absolutely. It's listening to us. Now, what if it's doing more than just listening to us? Like what? About a year ago, Bree Thomason accidentally found out through her infrared camera that our phones are taking invisible pictures of us every five seconds. Wild and crazy, Friday night kind of <laughs> We just discovered, which we already knew, that your phone, an iPhone specifically, takes an infrared picture of you with your face ID every five-ish seconds. And we looked at it through an infrared camera and it's pretty wild. Let's show you. Okay, have your home screen. It's on the home screen. Not touching anything. No buttons. Okay, infrared lens on the camera. Boom, there was one. Two. <laughs> That's so wild. Okay, cover the camera. Okay. Oh, there was another one. Okay, nothing. Oh, it's trying. It's taking pictures of your finger. Okay, move your finger. Ready? Boom. 
After being uploaded, the video amassed millions of views and thousands of comments, and internet users were completely baffled by this. I know it. Is our phone actually spying on us somehow? Needless to say, the next day there were hundreds of videos of people trying the same thing out to see if it actually worked, and surprisingly, in most cases, it did. Now remember, this is something that we can't see with the naked eye, so we need an infrared camera to check it out. After the topic became a viral thing, newspapers all over the world were talking about it. The company that produces the phone actually released an official note, saying that this is actually an aspect of a certain model of the phone, and this is actually part of the Face ID system and the Animoji. In other words, according to the company, this is just a scanning system that checks every 5 seconds if the person is still there, otherwise it would automatically shut the screen off. And even though Apple's explanation is plausible is most likely what's going on, many people out there were still skeptical about it. Most internet users seem to agree that there's something wrong about the way this system works. One internet user stated, isn't that just because your phone's making sure you're looking at it to keep the screen on? And another user replied, well my phone just closed when looking at it. And another one stated, there's times I've been thinking of what to type and just staring at the screen and it'll try to shut down. In other words, some internet users are not very confident that this 5 second system is just for face ID and attention aware, it might actually be for something else either. But there's no evidence or proof of that. And not only that, what would they be doing with our pictures? And where would they be storing it? But even so, I want to know your thoughts. What do you think is really going on here? Do you think that mobile phones may actually be spying on us or maybe there's nothing to worry about? Leave a comment down below. Look, man, y'all know, um, like the small, the phones are smart, right? They're, they're, they're tracking everything you do. So just think about it, man. Like when the chat GPTs and stuff like that, and you know, the scientists are warning that these things are turning sentient and they have feelings and all these things. They're trying to replicate you, nigga. Like they're trying to be you. Um, I don't know. It just gets real weird for me, even with my phone, like. Before I even touch the screen on certain things, it'll already touch it for me. Let me know in the comments down below if that's been happening to you. Before you even touch your screen, it selects what you're going to select already. It's getting a lot smarter, you know, and does that concern y'all like or not? Let me know in the comments. Just say no if it's not. It's okay if it don't bother you, but, you know, I just think it's a little weird. But the camera taking pictures of y'all while y'all butt naked, I just had to let y'all know. <laughs> <laughs> While you're on the toilet taking the shit, it's taking pictures of you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. A couple of weeks ago, a subscriber sent me a video or actually more than Sorry, it's, it's, it's going to be a lot of pictures. It's going to be a lot of pictures like... Yeah, pushing. It's just... You know you got your phone in there watching videos, looking at the news, and you pushing out a cold one. Just... Oh, yeah. They got, they got hella pictures of us. They got me too. I ain't gonna cap. <laughs> video ...of a man who has been having strange encounters in his farm at night. When I watched the videos, I was astonished and very creeped out about it. My first thought was that this had to be fake. You woke me up again and uh, said you heard it out of the room. And this time, so did I, so... <laughs> so I started researching the topic. Wolfman, Wendigo, Sasquatch, Dogman these types of encounters, but specifically in farms. I mean, it would make a lot of sense that if these mythical creatures actually exist, one of the best places for them to get food would be a farm. So when I started researching the topic, I was astonished by the number of supposed encounters that people had had in the past with these types of creatures in their farms. Absolutely not, nigga. And I guess that one of the oldest and most intriguing stories would be of the Michigan Dogman in the 1800s. Okay, so it's something a dog or what? Hola, verga! 
according to the legend, in 1887, a lumberjack named W. E. Cox reported seeing a creature with the body of a man and the head of a dog while working in the forests of Michigan. And over the years, there have been many other sightings and reports of the Michigan dogman, including one from a farmer named Robert Fortney in 1938. Now, Fortney claimed that the creature had killed several of his cattle and left behind strange footprints. In the 1980s, the legend of the Michigan dogman gained widespread attention when a local radio station played a song about the creature. Dogs that circled her house at night, they walked like men and screamed. Now, I'm not too sure if these stories are entirely true or not. What I do know is that a couple of weeks ago, subscribers sent me links and videos to a social media account by the name of Foulbidden Outdoors. Now, Casey, the person who runs the channel, usually posts videos of him doing his daily things on his farm, like fishing, hunting, that sort of stuff. Hey guys, girls, Casey here from Foulbidden Outdoors. And a couple of weeks ago, late at night, him and his wife started hearing a creepy howling sound, one that they could not identify. In one specific night, he was able to capture it on camera. And this is what happened. For whatever reason, they're pretty close to the house this morning. Just out of sight, like usual. We gotta get to the truck to get to work. I don't really want to leave this porch. A strange howling sound from an unknown animal can be heard in the video, but Foul Mitten Outdoors is unable to capture it on camera. However, things take a creepy turn the next day when his girlfriend starts hearing what sounds like footsteps coming from the roof, and this is what happens. Well, my girlfriend just uh, came upstairs screaming, woke me out of bed, said that there's something on the roof, and uh, I don't see it. She thinks one of them's up there somewhere. I don't know. But uh, she said she's gonna leave if I can't do something about it. So uh, I don't know what to do here. I ain't even gonna hold you. She just gonna have to leave, y'all. Like, she just, hey, baby, hey, look, I love you and all, but look, I'm, I'm leaving with you too. Like. <laughs> What y'all doing in the comments down below? <laughs> we baby, 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 we both leave it. Unfortunately for Casey, situations like these become a common thing in his life. Until one certain night, he starts hearing the howling sounds again. He goes outside and actually captures a glimpse of the creature. They're all over the damn place again tonight. They're gonna keep walking towards it. She gonna get this man eight. Why she ain't it? Why she ain't keeping back up for him? All right, whatever you are, you need to leave. Stay out of this place. This is our home. This is our home. You need to leave. You leave now. After giving out several warnings to whatever this is, he fires a shot randomly at the sky to scare it away, and apparently it works. I don't think it's gonna come around for a little bit. I think that'll keep it away for a while. He goes back home in hopes of never seeing this thing again. However, a couple of days later, he uploads another video titled Second Encounter, Finally Know It's There. This is what happens. Well, she just woke me up again and uh, said she heard it on the roof. And this time, so did I, so. You can get out there. And... Yeah, look. Okay. She... After going up. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I don't think she loved him, man. He, 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 I feel bad for him. He keep going outside by himself and shit. That's crazy. Outside, he quickly goes around the house to see. I at least want somebody I can run faster in. If he can capture anything on camera, and well, <laughs> he does. Oh, <laughs> holy! Sh All right, so he's on the other side of the house. Oh man. Oh. Oh, you gonna chase it? Oh. 
You chasing it? What the hell? He shitting on your roof. Where'd it go? What is that? What the son of a... What's going on here? After being posted, the video amassed millions of views and thousands of comments and internet users were completely baffled by it. Some suggest that this is fake, this is all just for views and stuff, and it could be. Others believe this is legit a skinwalker or maybe mothman or even a dogman type sighting. Internet users also left different types of comments theorizing the origin and the reason for the bones that mysteriously show up on top of his roof. Now being that, there are quite a few strange stories of dogman type creatures in Michigan. It could just be that Foul Mint Outdoors was unlucky enough to come face to face with one of these creatures. The entire situation from beginning to end is very strange, but I'm not too sure I could be wrong. What's your take? Do you think this could actually be just fake for views and stuff like that, or is it the real deal? I think it could be fake, but look, yo, that 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 love shit, bro. That's that that shit is strong, ain't it, bro? Like, look, nigga, like she said, I'ma leave if you don't go out here and get whatever monster it is out there. We ain't seen the people hurt a whole time. Hey, fellas, man, look, we gotta have a meeting, man. Let's huddle up right here. Nigga, don't be stupid. Don't be stupid. Just both of y'all leave, bro. Oh, leap. That, that, that shows a lot, bro. Like, if it's a monster outside and my lady tell me, go outside and deal with it, I'm, le I'm leaving you. I'm breaking up with you. You, you get out. <laughs> you see if you can make it to the car and, and get out of here. I'm going to wait till the sun come up. I'm going to call the cops. <laughs> I remember when I was younger, I used to spend most of my time playing with my friends on the street next to my house. Nowadays, most people spend most of their time inside their homes, playing video games, watching television and surfing the internet. According to Overlow.com and many other sources, people nowadays spend around 7 hours per day, every day, oh, wow. surfing the internet. That's a lot. And when you spend that much time on social media, you'll probably see a lot of memes, cats, and dog videos and that sort of thing. However, sometimes you can come across the darkest corners of these digital realms and end up coming across the strangest and the most unexplained videos ever. Yes, this is the case with this video that was recorded in Brazil by a couple of people who were having a good time at a bar. It was late at night when all of a sudden something really strange and completely unexplainable happened. Hey, poor. Uh, no, no. <laughs> Did you see that? One of the men in the background apparently throws a flip-flop at something. Then, the flip-flop simply disappears out of nowhere. You can't see it or hear it falling back on the ground. Now, if this wasn't strange enough, the man on the street starts screaming at something. This is when a luminous object swooshes away, scaring off everyone around. What is going on in this video? I can't see- Hey, did you- I'ma run that back. Did y'all see the man? See this guy right here. Hold on, let me see if my cursor is on here. Y'all see this guy right here. Pay attention to him when the thing starts to move. He's not looking at it when it starts to take off and he can still hear it or whatever. So that's what I'm looking at when I look at these videos. Like, I'm, now I'm going to play it. Falling back on the ground. Check out. Check him out. Now, if this wasn't strange enough, the man on the street starts screaming at something. This is when a luminous object swooshes away, look, 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 scaring now. off everyone around. So it start moving. Look. What is going on in this video? I can't seem to figure out, and apparently, neither can anyone else on the internet. After being posted, the video amassed millions of views and thousands of comments, and people were trying to figure out what was really going on here. 
Some internet users suggest that the flip-flops actually ended up in a back room of some sort. Now just in case you don't know about it, but the back rooms were an idea that started in 2019, when an anonymous user started a thread on 4chan's paranormal themed board asking users to post disquieting images that just fell off. One of the photos was a picture of a place like this. Now even though this was a fictitious idea, little by little it started growing on people and all of a sudden there were countless reports of people stating that they had a faint memory of being in a place like this before. That's creepy. Now if this wasn't strange enough, it gets even stranger. Lately people are freaking out about a video that was posted to social media by an account by the name of Hoodwinked Fool. The video starts off with the man walking on the street saying that he's going to show something crazy that he found out. And this is what he recorded, check this out. When the video was posted to social media, it left the entire internet completely baffled. How is this man doing this? Is it real? Or maybe not? Some internet users suggest that he's found a way into the back rooms, while others state this is just special effects of some sort created by a 3D scanning application. Gotta be. Now even though I would love to believe that this is an entrance to another dimension, maybe the back rooms or something like that. I believe in this case, it's simply special effects. However, how he's doing this and making it look like real life, I'm not too sure. But when it comes to these strange and unexplained things that occasionally happen in our life. One thing to get me too about that is like, most people ain't just gonna discover that and walk through that. I know I'm, I, I'm be real with y'all, I like to discover stuff. I'm, I'm definitely, we're gonna get out there in the field. That's the next phase of this channel. We're gonna be out here in the world showing y'all these things out here personally myself, but I'm gonna let y'all niggas know. If I see something, I'm not stepping through there. I, I'm just not. I send, a, I send a camera through, but I'm not taking my body through it. Real talk, let me know what y'all would do in, in that situation. Or am I tripping? Or I ain't no punk, bro. Vibes. <laughs> There's one that happened to Joseph Hudensky, a man who has a social media account where he posts videos of live hacks and machining. And if you take a look into his profile, you'll see that his videos are very focused on the topic. We're gonna cut some bolts or screws down. However, there's one specifically that caught the attention of the entire internet. And to this day, people are trying to figure out exactly what's going on here. Well, I was trying to vacuum and I just found tiny little balls of mercury in my carpet oh, for wow. no apparent reason. And this is the reason that I don't ever vacuum. When the video was uploaded, it amassed millions of views and thousands of comments of people who were completely intrigued by the video. Most internet users wanted to know where the mercury came from, while others stated that it could have come from an old rug or a very old mirror. But it also sparked curiosity and fear in some internet users who started immediately searching for mercury on their carpet floors. The thing is, mercury isn't exactly a very common substance, you won't find it here and there. In a next video, Joseph explains he thinks that the mercury is coming from an old mirror he found carved inside one of the walls in his house. This old mirror that I originally found behind this wall. 
And I'm not exactly sure if this actually clarifies anything or makes it even weirder. I call this the haunted mirror as a joke. And now I see these, these hand marks. Like, I don't know what in the, uh, where the haunted mercury bleeding mirror came from. Where I found it at least. Got the creeper. This sucks. So yeah. Down here. Oh, you just going in there, huh? All right, so there's this hidden compartment of the house here. What I know is that to this day, Joseph hasn't figured out exactly what's going on inside his home. Have you ever found anything strange inside your home that you thought shouldn't be there? And what do you think is going on in these strange and unexplained videos? Being a police officer isn't exactly the easiest of jobs. And I guess that we can all agree that most cops have seen it all. After all, it's the nature of the job to be exposed to virtually everything America has to offer. Researching a bit about the topic, I found out that it's not exactly the most uncommon thing for policemen to actually get calls from people asking for help to deal with the paranormal. And this is exactly the case with a video that was uploaded by Julian Petit a couple of months ago. In this four minute video, police officers are called to help a woman who believes her house has been broken into. But when they find absolutely no one inside, things start to get weird. This is what was caught on one of the police officers' body cam. Check oh, this out. Oh man, this is, should be interesting. I left for a while to go shopping and when I came home, the door is open. I think somebody broke in. Does anyone live in the house? Yes. Um, my husband, myself, and our two kids, but they're out of town right now. They're with his parents. And how many rooms do you have? Um, two upstairs and one downstairs. Alright, uh, we're gonna have to go and search the house. Is it okay if we go in? Yeah, yeah, of course. You don't have any like pets or dogs or anything? No. no. Oh. Just stay here, man. Police, if anyone's here, make yourself known. Police. Anyone inside? While sweeping the woman's house, one of the police officers come face to face with a strange situation. After he opens one of the closet doors, it seems to bang shut by itself, just right. behind him. At this point, if I were the police officer, I would be getting the heck out of there. I can't imagine the pressure that they're feeling right now. But these police officers are brave and they continue on sweeping the woman's house and this is what happens next. Check this out. Oh, they splitting up? That's crazy. Police! Anyone inside, make yourself known. Oh, 
camera messing up. In the video, we can see one of the doors apparently opening by itself, and I guess the police officer noticed it too. He then goes inside the room because after all, it's his job. He checks it out, and then he gets out. When he's about to go downstairs, something chilling happens and he catches all of it on camera. Check this out. Yeah, I'm about to go terminate my badge right now. <laughs> I quit, nigga. I quit. Oh, yeah. His booty hole, like, this tight right now. Yeah. Ah. That's how, that's how I look. Ah. Yeah, we're, yeah, we're good. When the police officer is about midway down the stairs, he hears what appears to be footsteps just behind him and in the video we can hear it very clear. Completely baffled, it's as if the police officer acknowledges that there's something invisible there, something that he can't deal with. So knowing that there's absolutely nothing else that they can do, they call it a day. Wonder After the video the was posted, internet users were divided. Some believe the video is staged or fake somehow. Others think that this is the real deal. Not only that, some even say that when the cop's about to go downstairs, when he looks back the last time, we can supposedly see a shadowy figure inside one of the rooms. And even though I'm not sure I can see a figure inside the room, this is one of the creepiest videos I've watched so far. I don't know exactly what it is about it, but it gives me the chills. But when it comes to shadowy figures, there are two videos that were uploaded recently that may actually prove their existence. But before I go on, let me explain a little bit about shadow people. They are usually claimed to be viewed as unrecognizable, fleeting shadows out of the corner of an observer's eye. Some people experience them as a dark mass, others sometimes in a humanoid shape. Most people report feeling some sort of evil intent coming from them and sometimes not being able to distinguish their face features. These entities have been observed throughout all humanity and to this day no one knows if they're just a figment of our imagination or if they're the real deal. Now recently a social media account by the name of VK Project seems to have captured one on camera. Hey, no, 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 stay there. Hey. Oh, my God. Dude. It's okay. It's okay. In the video, VK Project appears to capture a shadowy figure sitting down on his couch. If this wasn't strange enough, what makes it even stranger is the fact that he apparently has a dog with him and it seems to be reacting to whatever this thing is. Right. Some internet users seem to agree that maybe the video is real, while the others knows. state that this is most likely CGI or just an edit. And after watching the video for a couple of times, I've noticed that whatever this thing is, I can't make out any of its features. But because I don't see a dog in the video and there's no more information about it, it becomes very hard to say that this is the real deal. Right. But things are a bit different in another video posted by Joe Brown Ghost Hunter. In this video, a family is playing with a dog when all of a sudden this happens. Check this out. Oh my god, look at that. There's somebody right there. I got that. I, oh my god, I got that. I swear to god. Oh my god. Did you see that? What appears to be a patch of white mess can be clearly seen in the video apparently playing with the dog. A ghost maybe? Or something else entirely? What is going on here in this video? Have you ever experienced something paranormal with your pets? And do you think that dogs and cats can actually see these entities somehow? 
Oh, for sure. For sure. Well, this is it for now. Look, yeah, I do agree. I didn't see a dog at first, you know, uh, that 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 second and last clip. Yeah, I, I believe that definitely could be a CGI for sure. Um, you didn't see the dog, but he's he, he did that well. He did that damn well. You know, it was entertaining at least. But the dog one, nigga, like at the end, you know, dogs, bro, ain't got no reason to be out here faking for nobody. Dogs are unapologetically them. You feel me? My dogs, they don't, bro. Dogs I've had, bro, they don't care, bro. They the cutest can be. They a fart in your lap, bro, and don't give a damn. I feel like it's nothing wrong with it. So they don't care, bro. They not faking for nobody. Dogs, I've had dogs that look in the look in corners of a house that I was already creeped out about because I would hear certain things. I would see certain things in the household, and the dogs would sit here and stare at it. They will already be knowing, but I can't visually see everything, but I can hear stuff, you know, and feel it. But, yeah, I think they can actually see it, man. How do y'all feel about that in the comments down below, man? What about these uh these UFOs, these aircrafts everybody's been seeing? I think the ones in the cluster or whatever, I don't think those are drones at all, man. They 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 move too independently of each other. And then uh, the drones that we do see, you know, the Starlinks and stuff like that, they 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 move in straight lines. You know, but I would say this, man, don't be freaked out what you see out here in the sky, man. You know, they probably just as afraid as you depends on what species of extraterrestrials it is you know but i don't know how y'all feel about that you feel me are we being visited by people that look just like us or you know are these reptilians or something like that you feel me like do we we have something to be afraid of let me know in the comments down below i enjoy reading y'all comments and everything y'all have to say about these videos man but look make sure y'all out here protecting yourselves and your families and look homies don't let these women get you in these situations where you get unalive because you're trying to prove your love <laughs> that ain't the way you prove your love you feel me like nah man but look we have a good time on this channel man just make sure y'all got your notifications on so y'all can get these gold backs and these giveaways man i give back to y'all man because y'all support me so much that's at least somebody in my position can do you feel me but uh i see you in the next video like i always say spread love because there's too much hate in this world i love you guys i see you in the next video and i'm out though live